Hello and welcome to another episode of GoTo Tech Views. Today we're going to be taking a look at the integrated graphics on Intel's new KB Lake processors, the Intel HD Graphics 630, and we're going to compare it against the previous generation on the Skylake processors, which is the Intel HD Graphics 530, and see what kind of games we get in gaming. Okay, so before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the test setup that we're going to be using. We are using a new Lian Lee PC T60B that I'm going to be using for the channel for uh, future benchmarks. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier and I'll have a video on that later. The motherboard we are using is the new Oros Gaming K7, which is a Z270 chipset motherboard. Uh, we are using 2x4 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 memory. Uh, that is the Corsair Vengeance LPX series. And we are going to be using uh, two different processors. Uh, so the first processor, which has the Intel HD Graphics 530, is the Intel Core i3-6100. Um, and the processor that we're going to be using for the Intel HD Graphics 630 is actually Intel's new Pentium G4620. Now, if you haven't heard already, the new uh, Pentiums on the KB Lake processors now have hyper-threading, which make them uh, much closer related to the Core i3s. Uh, you know, you miss out on a couple feature sets that you don't really use a lot or aren't really that common. But the reason I picked this particular processor is because it is clocked at 3.7 GHz, much like the i3-6100. Uh, so this should minimize the uh, CPU impact uh, while doing the uh, benchmarks. It'll give us a much cleaner comparison between the HD530 and the HD630. So the test will be broken into three different categories. Uh, so we'll have synthetic benchmarks, uh, things like Firestrike, uh, Heaven and Valley benchmarks. Uh, then we're going to have games that have built-in benchmarks such as Metro Last Light, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and then games that don't necessarily have built-in benchmarks but are common and people would like to see anyways uh, which are Overwatch and CSGO. Uh, all these titles and benchmarks are going to be targeted for 900p low settings. Now the reason I picked 900p is it's just a reference point. Uh, some of the frame rates you're going to see aren't what I would call playable uh, but again I just wanted to be consistent and 900p was kind of a good target. So let's go ahead and run these benchmarks and see what kind of results we get. So as you can see from the test results, the performance gains of the Intel HD Graphics 630 are actually fairly modest. You know, somewhere in the ballpark of 3 to 5%, you know, depending on the test or game. Um, and this is kind of what I expected. The uh, KB Lake processors are only a minor refresh of the uh, Skylake processors, which were the previous generation. Uh, if you weren't aware, this is the first CPU to kind of break that TikTok model that they had before. Uh, they, they now use the process architecture um, optimization, and this is the optimization of Skylake. So really, I wasn't expecting the gains to be a whole lot. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to mention here before we wrap up is that while the integrated graphics here are rather capable given the right conditions, I mean, look at CSGO, for example. Uh, at 900p, with all the settings set to low, we are pushing well over 100 frames per second, and that is nothing to scoff at. I'm not advocating that the integrated graphics are a good long-term solution. Uh, now, I realize that people on laptops, you can't really necessarily upgrade your graphics, and you're, that's kind of what you're stuck with. But if you're on a desktop platform, it's definitely a stopgap while you're waiting for a dedicated GPU. Heck, I would say if you're waiting to get a GPU, uh, go with something like the RX 460, and that's you know around $100 or even a little less. I would say the GTX 750 Ti. You know that's a very capable 1080p gaming card for around 80 bucks, uh, and this will completely smash the integrated graphics. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at these results. Okay, if you found this video helpful and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, we've got plenty of content coming down the pipeline. Uh, Ryzen's, you know, not too far down the future here. I'll probably be buying a, you know, motherboard AM4 platform uh, to do some testing there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we are going to be upgrading my system. Uh, well, I'm just going to be changing the case to the NZXT S340 Elite. Going to go with kind of a black and white scheme. Uh, so that ought to be interesting as well. So anyways, thanks for watching and we will catch you next week.